Welcome back. What we're going to be doing today, it is we're going to be making our shape keys for our model using this Inochi PM uh, chart as a reference. This is going to be so that our MMD motions will work with this model. So if your model has, for instance, mine was rigged with a rig and I have all the appropriate uh, bones where I can have the expressions animated, all right, with using keyframes. But MMD does not utilize any of these bones, rather it uses uh, mores or in Blender's instance, it's their shape keys. So we need to create those. So we can uh, just drag and play our uh, in the motions. So I, for this model, I have already made some post library. As you can see here, some post library um, expressions. So presets. So I'm gonna be using this to like speed up the work, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it manually. So if your model doesn't have any uh, bones where you can easily grab and move your model, so you can have a particular expression, and you're gonna have to do that with the other sculpting or mesh manipulation depending on how complex your topology is so let's get this started the first shape key is going to be blink so eyes close and then it's going to be this so i want the japanese name okay so copy that Come over here and I'm going to select my face and have the blink. So this is my blinking face. Okay, now I believe I need to have those selected. Let me go out of post mode. I need to select our mesh now. Go to our modifiers. And within your armature modifier, open up the drop down and we're gonna press save as shape key. What this did now is it grabbed the current position of wherever your mesh is at, right? So it means the whole mesh in this instance. It now put this as a new shape key. And we can tell that if we go over here to our object data properties we have a brand new shape key I'm gonna double click on it and uh, control V our Japanese name so I'm gonna go here and select all RGS to reset our model get out of post mode again and now she is on our regular T pose now let me see and that seems to work All right now for me in particular since i don't really read japanese i am going to make another copy of this shape key as is and then have it uh, with the english name so i'm gonna make sure you're shape key is all the way to max and make sure you don't have any other ones toggled on you're gonna press uh oh yeah the very first one <laughs> new shape key for me mix so this is gonna mix whatever shape keys so for instance if you have more toggled on 
it's gonna combine them so this is an easy way how you can mix and match shape keys for instance if you only want a shape key to go about this distance right and you press new shape key let me go back here and turn this off now this shape key only drops down to that distance so this is how you can mix and combine shape keys that you already set uh, previously. So, so I particularly don't need that one. I'm delete that one. And I do need that one since that's my blinking eye. And this is pretty much just going to be for my personal uh, reference. That is going to go uh, blink. Right. Now you're going to do this for all your MV uh, expressions. So go come down through the list, right? You keep doing the same thing. It's pretty repetitive, but you're gonna be getting what you want at the end. So let's do one more and then let me show you how to do the manual way of doing this so come over here and then blink smile that is over here intro open this up more can I That one, nope. That one. Okay, so this is the uh, blink smile, which is going to be in this one right here. Let me grab Japanese name, control copy that. Come out of post mode, select our mesh, go to our rig modifiers save as shape key and then we have a new shape key here close that and then come here select all and reset our model so we can test our shape key and there we go okay so i want that i wanna shape it for mix and smile blink so that's that one now this happens if you have double the shape keys when you're overlapping them okay so now you know how to do your shape keys when you post your model and you can do it for like any kind of post you want so now let's say you want to modify this shape key for instance I have a tiny little gap here and you're not happy with it right so now with this shape key totally toggled on you can go to edit mode and let's say we have this selected uh, okay let me scroll down down Okay. So let's say you do something like wanky, right? Select all, snap to symmetry. Uh, some reason my model wasn't symmetrical. Okay, so let's say you want this one. <laughs> now, that shape key is doing that so this is pretty much how you modify for shape key 
you toggle it on you come over here and then you start moving your geometry however you want and this is going to be the new position of the shape key so you end up one day screwing around and you end up with very bad shape keys that might be a reason why something happened because you have this selected and you started modifying the geometry and then your model just broke right. well, for me this is a no-no right it's be, this is fucking disgusting now I delete that one we toggle that one on again and new shape key for mix let's rename that one again smile pink over here turn that off turn this one on and that seems appropriate so this is going to be most likely when you have little problems like I said you're gonna modify like little things and get that closer or move a couple of vertices here and there just to get the proper look that you want so this is separate geometry and if you only want to select this one geometry you can go over here to your uh, proportional editing drop down this area and say click on connected only now you're gonna be moving only that uh, geometry that has been connected so you can have way more finer control so means you can move it all reduce it and only move little sections of it as you wish in this particular instance I want to have a full graph on the whole entire geometry so it's perfect as the way it is uh, by default another way you can modify your geometry as a shape key it is via sculpting make sure once again you have your sculpting to the max let's grab our laxity form let's grab our cheeks and let's make her like super chubby right big happy stupid smile alright so is this is what you want now you can do it this way this is way more interactive because you can actually toggle the shape here on and off than it is by doing the uh, by edit mode so this is another way you can do your modifications for your shape keys via a sculpting mode so let me go back I was over here so once again I don't really like this one try to copy I'm gonna delete it I'll hit my link, which was my original. And shape key for mix, paste, and I'm back to normal. Okay, so let me see. Am I missing anything else? No, and this I'm gonna conclude the video right here. Just the basics. And all you have to do is uh, rinse and repeat until you get all these separate sections into your list. And once you do, click on your motions, click on your mesh, import the facials, and they will work.
as long as you have the proper naming conventions, which they're going to be in Japanese. Alright, with this, I'm going to call it a video, and see you guys later.